What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at another AEW chase and it is the Unmatched Series 5 Sean Spears, one of 3,000. So let's get right on into it. Also, first of all, a figure so nice I had to buy it twice. Alright, so with the Sean Spears figure, we get this entrance gear. We get a matching left hand to go with the right hand and he actually comes with one of the AEW chairs which the, the quality on these just does not hold up compared to the Mattel chairs, but that is a different story for a different day. Let's take this really cool entrance piece off. I think the hood is just a little too big, but it is what it is, and it does have the 10 on there to signify his perfect 10 gimmick that he had before coming to AEW. And this is a beautiful figure. The nice metallic blue as you see in the light there. Metallic blue, green, whatever it is. I still have the plastic wrap under the knee pads just to prevent any type of scuffing that could happen. But this is a unique head scan. This is pretty much just like the other figure except for the head and the lowers. Well, I guess the torso and the arms are the exact same except, well, no, because the Unmatched Series 5 actually has a sleeved right arm. So, we have a screaming head scan on the chase and a serious stern looking head scan on the regular release i love both of them i think it's two of jazzwares best head scans to date the tattoo work is still just as good as it is on the first one he doesn't have any copyrighted tattoos so they didn't have to juggle things around and make them look all distorted or anything this is the pinnacle gear which you guys know from their blood and guts match but here you have the the Sean Spears logo, it's like a Canadian flag, and it's its interesting for sure. But you have it on this side and this side. The same white boots, except instead of gold, you have the silver wraparound pieces. This is just all around a beautiful figure, and look how good that head scan is. Like, you can clear as day tell that that is Sean Spears. But this is a nice, quick and easy review because there's not much to it. You guys already know what the regular one looks like. So the chase is just even better. We'll do a couple quick size comparisons because I didn't do a review. I didn't do a review on the actual figure when it came out. And we'll just throw in with some stuff I have sitting on my desk here. I have my custom elite solo Sokoa, which is now like out of date and I have to do updates on that and then with the review that I just did of Minoru Suzuki and uh, of course this figure scales well but if you're a Sean Spears or Ty Dillinger fan you definitely need to go pick this figure up because it is very very good and I hope he gets a chance to shine on AEW TV before he leaves the company or he gets fired or whatever happens because he tends to not have the best look. But that is going to be it for today. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. A nice short video for you guys. And as always, and last but not least, take it easy. Thanks.